when you look at the bigger picture, man, it was been so much accomplished by everyone there. You can't tell me a good phone conversation or a sit down can't get things right, man. And uh, hopefully it comes to that, man, because things have been, you know, very memorable there, man. I had a lot of great memories with a lot of guys, and for that to end so dramatically and the way it's, the way it's, people are printing it right now, it don't sit well. But uh, I think they can get it right. But if he won't sit down with any with anybody, it kind of makes it tough. Yeah, I mean, just, we talked to Art last week, and he still hasn't. Well, it's, I just, for my opinion, I think it's more it's more of a time thing. Time heals everything. It was a while where people didn't want to go to the White House whenever we went on championships. Now everyone's on the first flight out there. Because uh, all I'm saying is that people are just so quick to be judgmental on things and so quick to, to have the most negative thing in the world. Just let things pass over, man. I know it's a disappointing season. Trust me, we got a lot of great players on our team. We should be in the playoffs playing, and I honestly think we should be still playing right now. So for reporters that have been following the team a long time and for fans that have been following a long time, I get it. It's disappointing. Trust me, it's disappointing for us. We all want it. So whenever things like that happen, sometimes you can overlook some of the bad things that have happened over the years, and most teams do it. When you're winning, everything is great. When you have a couple losses back to back like that, we can always find reasons not to like a certain thing. So that's my take on things, man. Honestly, I feel like we've been a family. We've been together so long now, nine years. No one can break that. You've been there longer than high school, college, any other collective sport game you ever played with. Things can get right. Some people say that he's been a distraction. Now, these are the outside people talking. And has there any been point where he has been to you guys, you, you believe? Never a distraction, man. I've been around a lot of great players, man. I used to tell guys all the time, man. When you have great players, man, no matter what anyone says and no matter how anyone thinks, man, they always have a little it factor to them. Now, they just have, man. I played with Percy and Tebow, the two greatest players in the world. Man, obviously sometimes, you know, maybe maybe sometimes they didn't agree with some of the things. But trust me, we went out there on game day, they loved it. They wanted to go out there and win. They wanted to be able to perform the best for each other. That's just how things is. I mean, you guys know it. You guys have been watching superstars your whole entire life. If it was a guy, a younger guy that, that has no no credibility behind him, we wouldn't be talking about it. The simple fact that there's two Hall of Fame players is the reason I was getting brought up so much. Rightfully so. And I, I agree everybody should have opinions and everybody should be able to talk about things. That's how this world is, and that's what makes this world the greatest. But in my opinion, I honestly think I've playing the football a long time. Things can get worked out, man. Feelings are always. I Trust me, I've been in fights with guys at, at practice. You guys seen it. Maybe you think I don't like them anymore. I'll never go talk to them again. You know what I mean? They're, they're my brothers. They're my family. I, hell, he took a couple hits at me and hit me. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you get past all that, man. It takes time, and man. The stories you see right now, man, it's all funny because you'll never get brought back up when everything gets right. Marquise, what really happened week 17? What can you clarify as it went down? That the things that reported didn't happen. Which ones? There's been a lot. <laughs> well, you said, I mean, the walkthrough part and the throwing. Yeah, the walkthrough part. Yeah. It didn't happen. Trust me, man. Come on now. You're talking about grown men. If someone throws a football, at another, if someone throws a football at a reporter, you guys seen it? What happened? Like, our two reporters were in there beefing with each other a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it happens, bro. Like when you're around somebody for a long time, man, you can say a joke to them, and maybe that person's feeling a little bit bad that day, and maybe you take it the wrong way. But the day before, you wasn't. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's sometimes funny that people can't put two and two together, but I understand that maybe sometimes you need a little pep talk and to need a couple of words of encouragement. Do you expect he and Ben to, to talk at some point soon based on what you know? Or? They're the best duo in stellar history. I mean, you don't want to talk to two Hall of Famers that I played with each other and did so much together. I just don't understand what, what football and team is anymore. You know what I mean? So, honestly. Can you, can you play Peacemaker? Say you talk to him, talk to him. No, with time, it, for me, man, I, I know AB and I know Ben. Man, we're all older, man. When you get older, you understand that. Man. Sometimes it might take a month to call somebody. Man, I don't argue with my brother before, and I was so mad at him, I didn't talk to him for two weeks. But then I was sitting there the whole time like, damn, I lost two weeks of talking to my brother, some of the good things we could have did together, you know what I mean? So you guys all know. You guys got family members, you got brothers, man, and you all know that sometimes when you have an argument, you say some things that you don't mean. We all do it, man. And you sit there, you sit at the house, no matter what anyone says, you sit at the house and you regret it. No matter if you want to come out publicly and say it, or no matter if you want to go out there and apologize to the person, maybe you do it in your own terms and privately, you do that. But at the end of the day, man, things can get worked out. Now, honestly, truth, you feel that, man, from both guys, from talking to to, uh, to Ben and, and uh, to personally knowing AB, being in draft class with him and being here a long time playing football, man. I know this football team, and I know that you get over things. It wasn't like anyone said anything bad about a family member. It's just some football arguments, man. I'm pretty sure they had him at uh, high school the other day. Juju, have you spoken at all to AB since anything, all this went down? Uh, no, sir. Have you reached out to him at all or tried to talk to him? Uh, yeah. And he hasn't gotten back to you either? Uh, I mean, he's on vacation right now, so, you know, I mean, I wouldn't want to be bothered too with all that, you know. Uh, just kind of doing what we're doing. Do you expect at some point, though, you will talk to him this offseason? Oh, yeah, for sure. No doubt. No doubt. Do you know what the source of his frustration is? No, honestly, man, at the end of the day, I'm just focused on myself, and, and you guys can ask AB if you guys get a chance. I'm just focused on my own campaign. There's a lot of crazy stuff that's being said about AB. you got to feel for the locker room. Do you, if he would come back, you guys would welcome him? You could? 
the end of the day, man, uh, he is our teammate, he is our guy, so yeah. Tell me about Surrett taking over the O-line room. I couldn't be more happier, man. Um, a guy who's learned a lot from Coach Much, man. But first of all, he's played football. He knows the ins and outs of it. He played offensive line. He knows the grit of it, uh, the pass protection, the run blocking, and things like that, man. And, uh, he's really honed in on technique, man. And uh, Playing football and offensive line, that's the one thing you got to teach guys is uh, being a technician and playing the game the right way. And he has that, man. And uh, I think he's learned from one of the best, a Hall of Famer, and obviously a Hall of Fame coach, in my opinion, as well. So he has a lot to lean on, and we have a lot to, to look forward to with him uh, being our O-line coach. I had a chance to sit down and talk to him. He said he didn't even have a chance to reach out to you. You text him uh, immediately. <laughs> yeah, 100%, because I'm just so happy for him, man. I've been with him a long time now, and I know how much he cares and how much he puts in every single week, man, how much uh, he can get us a lot better, man, with the new things that's going on in the NFL and how, how it's changing a little bit. I think he's uh, he's perfect for the job. What's something that you've learned from him? Just how to be, you know, more of a technician, man. He, he really is on big on tape study and uh, pushing the envelope on showing different things that each week on the guys you go against. Uh, he details his work very, very a lot, and uh, you can appreciate that when you're playing, man. Uh, a guy that's detailed and working his butt off for you, and uh, you see all the work that's going into the week, but you still got to go out there and perform, but I think he's the right guy to lead us in the right way.